Learning Tagalog Language for Wikipedia World Adverbials A basic sentence may include, in addition, to the predicate and the topic, one or more adverbials. Unlike the predicate and the topic themselves, adverbials are optional. Components of basic sentences. That is, no basic sentence is incomplete for want of an adverbial, nor is the deletion of an adverbial implied by its absence. Adverbials that occur in a basic sentences are divisible into two main classes. First, we have the enclitic particles. Enclitic particles are a small but important class of words that occur in a certain fixed word order, relations to other sentence elements, occur after the first word of a sentence or in a non-basic sentences. The first word of a clause, whether this word constitutes the entire predicate, a part of the predicate, or some other sentence element. Three sentences, for example, for enclitic particles, we have the thou or rao, which is they say, occurs respectively. After a nominal predicate, the verb of a verbal predicate, and the negative word him, he, or no. For example, we have here, Dr. Dao ang bisita. They say the guest is a doctor. Umupunta raw sa Maynila ang bus. Umupunta raw sa Maynila ang bus. They say the bus goes to Manila. Hindi raw doktor ang bisita. Hindi raw doktor ang bisita. They say the guest isn't a doctor. Included particles have 18 in Tagalog, including several like interrogative particles ba, but does not occur in a sentences. Here are classified as a basic sentences. Some of these enclitic particles, for example, we have na, which is already no as already or now, and pa, which is still or yet, are mutually exclusive, that is, they do not occur in the same class. Others have a fixed or preferred word order relation to one another and all have a fixed word or the relation to noun forms of personal pronouns serving as actor complements and to non-initial ang forms of personal pronouns. Adverbials that occur in basic sentences are divisible in another class. We have the movable adverbs. Movable Adverbs may be a word, for example, ngayon, ngayon, today, or a phrase, for example, kung lunes, kung lunes, on Mondays. Movable adverbs differ from enclitic particles in that they do not, in general, have a fixed word or the relation to other sentence elements. Kung lunes, kung lunes, for example, may be added at any of the three different points to the sentence. For example, pumapasok sa eskwela ha, or pumapasok sa eskwela, pumapasok sa eskwela si Juan. Juan goes to school. Without difference of a meaning, thus, pumapasok kung lunes sa eskwela si Juan. Pumapasok kung lunes sa eskwela si Juan. Pumapasok sa eskwela kung lunes si Juan. Pumapasok sa eskwela kung lunes si Juan. Pumapasok sa eskwela si Juan kung lunes. Pumapasok sa eskwela si Juan kung lunes. Juan goes to school on Monday. There is no difference between the three. Whether you put the kung lunes in a particular sentence. Kung lunes may also appear all the beginning of the sentence, but in this position, it has emphatic or contrastive meaning. All of the above sentences may be considered basic sentences. For the sake of simplicity, however, the order represented in the third sentence may be conveniently be given priority over the others. So that the structure of a basic sentence that includes 
a movable adverb may be diagram as follows. So we have basic sentences, predicate topic, and movable adverbs. So thank you for listening, Etopedia. Yeah.